Okay, this is a review of a Snug Pack Sleeka Force 35 backpack. I'm testing out. I'm not quite sure if it's going to be big enough for a 72 hour bag. This is the 35 liter one. It's made by a company in the UK called Snug Pack, incidentally. I'm um, hoping I can keep enough of this in the frame and that the lighting's pretty good, so we'll, we'll go with that. Okay, so first of here, it's 500 denier, quarter of nylon, so pretty sturdy, pretty durable. Um, it's pretty nice, thick. Uh, straps on this. See if I can get closer. Yeah, and they have D-rings on them and this nice mesh, kind of like on the Maxpedition packs. Uh, pretty sturdy, pretty thick, and sewn in pretty solidly at the top here. Nice. The back is quarter of material, and there's a uh, there's a I guess you'd say a butt pack. I don't know what to <laughs> call this. The rear of your the rear of your uh, of your tailbone area and uh, these side packs too has a nice uh, mesh thick area. So you uh, can buckle this together for the buckle. Tighten. These have like keeper things on them, so you can. Uh, there's Velcro to undo it and unroll the belt, and then get it to where you want, and then tighten it right down, so you don't have as much loose material. So we'll throw it on a second, and uh, you get an idea of what it might look like. Uh, you know, all buckled and everything. Should have probably unbuckled it before I tried this, but. Seems to fit pretty well. Hug right on your back. You know, pretty decent, pretty sturdy. Right, here's an example of so you can see the you can see the pack. Kind of it hugs right around pretty tightly to you. Um, yeah, pretty nice looking. Easy to adjust shoulder straps, you know, up and down. Just kinda like the Max Pedition packs we looked at. And yeah, it's nice, it's a nice feeling. So we'll go back here to our main area and take a look at it. Alright. Uh, there's some extra Molly type strap webbing on the straps, some D rings. There's a pocket at the top here of the back. Um, looks like you can fit a decent amount of things in there. Pretty big. Uh, yeah, you can see both hands fit in there, no problem. There's still a little more space. Zipper's probably not quite as high quality as the Maxpedition ones, but they seem pretty smooth, pretty decent. And there's like paracord material on them. A nice grab handle, it's pretty sturdy. Uh, let's see. Bottom of the pack has these uh, has straps for for webbing or for a tarp or a sleep bag or a blanket or a coat or whatever. You have to get some kind of tab between them. And here we have the uh, the bottom. This is the back of the pack at the bottom. There's a zipper and there's a uh, a rain cover hood uh, stashed in there that I've tried. It fits over the whole pack. We'll try that in a second. But wait till we check out the rest of it. Okay, on the front side, you can see it's basically a top loading uh, backpack. And uh, let's see, there's a Velcro area here, attaching a patch, nice big cover, and uh, secure by buckle, so we'll undo those. All right, as you can see, it kind of has a, kind of has like a, feels like a more water resistant kind of material on the inside, but there's that rain cover, and I suppose you could spray it with uh, waterproofing spray. Um, there's a cinch cord here, so you can uh, close up the whole top of your pack. But for the most part, as I mentioned, it's just a big, large open bag. Uh, there you go. And it's after testing this out a little bit with my preliminary 72 hour bag, this this kind of bag here where you can just kind of stash everything in in pouches or packs seems like it will be easier because it's just a large bag. It doesn't have to be perfect and it kind of can fit in there. You know, easier to arrange things. Yes, Lika Force 35. Okay, the front of the pack we have uh, a mesh pocket here with some Velcro and fits in there pretty well. Some lines and ends. Each of the sides, there's two, I guess you could call them water bottle holders. Now uh, there's like a stretchy material on the cordura, and then a pocket with a uh, with a little uh, compression thing. Let's try that out with the water here. We put a whole Nalgene in there, no problem. So one liter like that would fit on both sides of the pack. You know, one on each side. Um, yeah, so that's kind of, I like that. It seemed like this, I would like this better if there was maybe a buckle here and it would just flap down. I think that would be easier to adjust and uh, stash things in there. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much, so we've got some extra D-rings here on the front where you could connect a cable between them and, uh, you know, cinch down a coat or a jacket or even just cut carabiners or other things to them. Uh, yeah, so let's clip those buckles back up. All in all, this seems like a, a pretty decent backpack. 35 liters, uh, Sleeka Force 35 by Snug Pack. It's about $90, made in the UK, but a lot of US retailers sell them. And uh, yeah, it seems like it'd be a, a pretty decent bag. Get some different shots. Oh yeah, let's look at the final, at the rain cover 
near the bottom. Kind of looks like a trash bag material, but um, has elastic around the edge. I guess you could stash other things in there. I think you can just probably cram the whole thing around the, the backpack when it's got stuff in it. Yeah, there you go. It looks like a trash pack. <laughs> Maybe it'd be, give you some concealment, but I guess at least rain protection. So yeah, so that's the Nikaforce that's the, uh, 35, and I'm considering getting the 40 actually to have a little more space, but we'll, uh, that's a nice little backpack. I'll have to evaluate it some, but if you're kind of curious, looking into this pack, I figure this would be, haven't seen many reviews on it, so, so there you go. And uh, see what you think.